a civil rights lawyer originally from Elkhart, Indiana, and a Harvard Law School graduate, Thomas Atkins, became Indiana University's first African-American student body president in 1960 and made it a priority to assist underrepresented groups by providing academic support, leadership activities, and cultural exposure. In the second of a two-part series on closing the education gap, Adkins' legacy lives on today. The Adkins group visited PS 145, the Bloomingdale School on Manhattan's Upper West Side, to work with students in Adkins' adopted hometown. What are the words that we need to Because we have a large population of um, students in temporary housing, um, immigration, the second language, unemployment. Dr. Arla Rue Lewis argues the American public school system is biased and while resources have been poured into more disadvantaged schools over the past 10 years, <laughs> suburban schools have seen sustained support for at least the last 30, meaning there will be inequalities in data. Nonetheless, Lewis says he's optimistic about a future he sees, including educational diversity and consistent quality for all students. We continue to experiment and sometimes we have success, but we haven't figured out how to do it systematically. And that's what the science of research is and that's what dedicated uh, professionals and practitioners are doing every day in our schools. Trying to figure out how to make the best moves possible to prepare for a future of a different United States than we've ever seen. Both parts of this story will air on the weekly special tonight at 8 p.m. and Friday at 6. 